Hi, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwein. And I'm Vince Penman. In this show, we'll go to school on cool tools for design collaboration. In the last show, we saw the benefits of collaborating with vendors in the concept design phase of your product development. As opposed to the collaboration I have with my coffee vendor on the production of my low-fat, low-foam, extra-hot soy mochaccino. Did I say extra-hot? Well, in the engineering world, one way to collaborate is to share and discuss actual models. One reason that many companies don't share CAD models is that they contain all the information needed to manufacture your part. If that intellectual property fell into the wrong hands, like a competitor, it could be a disaster. One solution is to share lightweight models that allow the user read-only access. With viewable files like those from CreoView Express, your vendor can make general dimensional measurements and even see a section view, but they can't see the full design intent of the part features. In other words, they have enough information to collaborate on the concept, but not enough for production. And what do they say about a picture being a thousand words? Well, sometimes it's useful to add a few more words by adding annotations directly in the model. Now, the question becomes how to present the models and facilitate discussion. As you know, emails can get lost in your inbox, like planes in the Bermuda Triangle. One solution to keeping everyone on the latest revision is to have a central database where the whole team can get all of the latest product information and document their feedback. Some common collaboration platforms include Microsoft SharePoint, PTC Windchill, or Lotus Notes Team Room. They all provide a graphical interface to group discussion topics, schedule team meetings, and centralize reference material like relevant white papers and models. This allows for maximum collaboration as team members will have access to all files. That said, you have to be careful who has access to the data because it will have all of your intellectual property in one place. To get some tips on communicating design information to external people, we spoke with Noah McNeely, President and CEO of Slingshot Product Development Group, a product development firm located in Georgia. Noah says that his firm does a lot of work with overseas vendors, and one of their favorite ways to convey product details while protecting their IP is by presenting models using web-based video conferencing tools such as GoToMeeting and Skype. With web conferencing tools, the external party has visual access to the meeting host's computer screen while the host retains control over the level of detail they present. Noah says that not only does this feature protect their product design information, but also it's reduced their need to travel by close to 50%. If you'd like to download a free copy of the Creo View Express, an e-drawing viewer like the one described in this episode, go to ptc.com slash products slash creo slash view slash express. And if you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes. We'll see you next week for more great design engineering.